How do you get people to like you? Do you know who are the most popular people? The X factor, likability. How many of you think if your audience likes you, you will be able to make a better connection with them? Yeah? How do you do this? How do you get your audience to like you? Can I come up to you? You like me? Then how do you get people to like you? So we have to build this thing called charisma. Have you heard this word? How do I have charisma? You say that fellow is a very charismatic person. People like him. People want to be like him. Yeah, yeah, Monarch, you if that person says something, we want to do that. Charisma. You're like a magnet. People get attracted to you. you want, they want to, you know, be with you, be like you. Good thing. So, this guy, Joe Girard, <laughs> apparently he's like one of the world's best salesmen. And he has been like one of the best salesmen for many years. I have not met the guy, but supposed to be a very famous salesman. And of course, that's a nice quote as well, right? The elevator to success is out of order. <laughs> you have to use the steps one step at a time. You can't suddenly be successful. One step at a time. It's a journey. One step at a time. So what did he do when people asked him, what did you do to keep customers? What did you do to keep doing sales for so many years? You know what he said? I tell my customers, I show my customers that I like them. <laughs> That's all I do. I show my customers that I care about them. I show my customers that I like them. Show your employees that you like them. Show your customers that you genuinely like them. Okay? And people will get drawn towards you. It's a human connection, right? Because if you feel I like you, do you know why you get drawn? Because there is no sense that I might hurt you. You feel safe. Yeah? So whenever you meet someone for the first time, we are always thinking, do I want to pull this person towards me? Or do I want to push this person away from me? Do I want to pull, pull you towards me? Push you away. What would you rather people do with you? Pull you towards them or push you away? You won't ever get a promotion if you don't pull your boss towards you. Boss needs to feel this person is a good person. So this whole thing called liking at a human level. Very, very important. Pull towards or push away. So what is charisma? When we say somebody has charisma, we are saying that person has two qualities. That person has warmth, which is I like that person. That person has warmth and that person has competence. That is what charisma means. Not only is a nice, likable person. No, this person also has knowledge. Is competent. Is good at something. Then the total package we say, charisma. So what is charisma? Attractiveness, charm, magnetic presence makes people naturally drawn to someone. If I am drawn to Amila, then what happens? I start to admire Amila also. Amila has influence over me. So Amila, you are Sanjay. Shall we do this? Yes, let's do it, Amila. <laughs> Aye, I am drawn to Amila. Amila, they are the Why? Because he is warm. Warm can never go. He is a friendly person. Plus, he has competence. So, there was a research done on the most popular teenagers in schools. Who are the most popular teenagers in schools? Yeah. So, who, are, who do you think are the most popular teenagers? Give me some answers. Who are the most popular teenagers in school? Sportsmen, cricketers, prefects. Okay, who else? Fighters, band leaders. Hey, answer is none of the above. <laughs> Do you know who are the most popular people? The most popular people were the people who knew the most other people. Let's say in Enagama Central, Tusita knows all the names of the other children. So when Tusita comes to, comes to school in the morning, he's, ah, hello Indika, ah, hello Kalani, hello Amila. Hello, uh, Gayan. Now, what happens? Do you think Amila and Kalani and Gayan like Tusita? How many of you think Amila, Gayan and Tusita like uh, Kalani like Tusita? They do. Why? Because he's saying, Hi, good morning. Hi, Indika. Hi, Kalani. Hi, Gayan. What, do, what does Indika feel? Indika feels he likes you. He knows your name. So, the, who becomes the most popular? Tusita. <laughs> because what happens? Indika also likes him. Kalani also likes him. Gagayan also likes him. Amil also likes him. Why? Because he started. <laughs> he likes them. <laughs> How do they know it? While walking, he's just talking to everyone. 
What happens? Everyone likes him. So those were the most popular people who have the charisma. Why? They like the others. <laughs> right? So return they are not. So what we want for charisma is a balance between warmth and competence. If you are only warm but not competent, people will like to be with you. No acceptance. They won't do what you are asking them to do because they say, Ah, yeah, Hari, he's a good guy. He doesn't have any knowledge. <laughs> if you have only the competence but no warmth, people say, oh, my God, that's sorry, that guy is so clever. But I'm scared to talk to him. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think he likes me to talk to him. I don't think he likes me. I'm scared to talk. Are there people like that? Are there people like that in your offices? Very knowledgeable. But other people don't want to go and talk to them. Are there people like that? There are, right? So we want a balance. So what are you trying to... Whenever you meet someone for the first time, you're trying to answer two questions in your mind. First question, can I trust you? Can I trust you is not, can I, I'm not going to give you all my money or something. No, can I trust you is, do I think that you are going to hurt me? That's all. Do I think you're going to hurt me? If I feel, no, you're not going to hurt me. It's okay, I can trust you. So I can come and talk to Tarinda. I'm not scared, he'll be, he'll bite me or something. So we can talk. Second is, can I rely on you? Can I rely on you? So if you tell me something, can I trust that it is correct? Do I believe that you have knowledge? Can I rely on you? So they can. Both together, charisma. <laughs> so it's all about actually, if you want to build charisma, it's about like you and like you. What does this mean? If I want you to feel I have charisma, I have to number one, I have to like you. And the second like you is, you will like me more if I am like you. So we like people who like us and we like people who are like us. So when I say, yes, I, I did some work at uh, uh, Trelleborg, now Yokohama, right? I, I know Sanjay very well. I know, I knew Dian who was there earlier very well. A lot of the senior management, we have taught them our, lead, our leadership program. What am I doing? I'm showing you that I am like you because I also know about the company. We have done some work there at finding a bond. That's called building rapport. Finding things of similarity that we can build with. Now, you all said you like watching movies. I said, okay, I also like watching movies. What is that? Building rapport. We make a connection. Okay, so like you and like you. So how can we develop charisma? Can be developed through effective communication, confidence and empathy. So you don't have to think only certain people have charisma. <laughs> We can all develop charisma. How? You, you become warm. Smile at people. Get to know people. Call them by their name. See, I used a small trick to become close to you. What was the trick? Call you by the name. Lots of people don't do that. So what happens? You will know my name, but I will never know your name. Do you know what's the most important sound in the world for you? Your name. So Kauru, I like you. Lairu? 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 That's the most beautiful sound in the world to you. Your name. Your name. 